good guy, um, and he was great. Apple's founder and CEO Steve Jobs passed away yesterday, just 56 years old. Today, a well-known worldwide radio program hosted its show in Naples and turned their focus to Jobs and what he will re be remembered for. NBC 2's Joel Parks and our crew of photojournalists set out today to cover that tribute by creating one of their own. This entire story was compiled using an iPhone. The death of Steve Jobs is by some distance the biggest story in the world. Now that Steve Jobs is gone, World Have Your Say host Roz Adkins wants to hear from the world about what he will be remembered for. I will consider where he belongs among the great entrepreneurs and inventors. And after an hour of comments on BBC World Service, WGCU and NPR. We're live from Sutton Plaza in Naples, Florida. Many agree Steve Jobs is one of the greats. The man is iconic, and if you look at Edison and Ford, they were certainly characters, recognizable characters, and very much in the eye of the public. From young to old, country to country, the products and the technology are widespread. I think they've, they've, they've made cert doing certain things very, very easy. Apple's iPhone is just one example of pushing technology to the brink. Not only can we talk in text, we can also take HD pictures and video, changing the way we live and the way we work. I find this to be um, right behind Velcro, Ziploc, and Kevlar. Apple has pushed advancements from its competitors. Putting these high-level products in the marketplace has pushed the bar up for everyone. He says it helped his program reach people from all over the world. Uh, he's joining us live from London. More than 50% of the crowd had them. The rest saying they wish they did. All of them wonder what's next. Uh, he was a seminal figure with regard to uh, the uh, role America plays in the technology race. And uh, I wonder just how many more Steve Jobs are going to be out there. In Naples, Joel Parks, NBC2. Florida lawmakers can authorize slot machines anywhere in Florida. That's the ruling made today by an appeals court. It essentially opens the gate for casino resorts in the state. More immediately, it makes Hialeah's racetrack